this is something that's going to seem eye-poppingly unreal, but management will sometimes frown upon distribution efforts. Let me repeat that. Sometimes management wants to keep people from doing their job. And that's because when we distribute as a uh, employee advocate or as a frontline engineer, we can sometimes, using these sales hacks that are fresh, uh, right from the horse's mouth out of CS183B, as in boy, lecture five, the Peter Thiel lecture, once we apply some of these Stanford engineering uh, best sales practices, we can start rubbing a lot of people the wrong way in our jobs. And that's not necessarily a good thing because have you heard of the expression, good work happens despite management's efforts? Well, oftentimes management would much rather have an internal meeting to talk about internal deliverables versus having people get out of the building, as Professor Blank would say, get out of the building to perform external deliverables. Internal deliverables versus external deliverables is a huge component in why sometimes management keeps us engineers from doing distribution, which is why we are going to practice inside of lecture nine, we're going to practice without the management of the, the burden of having to do, deal with a bunch of internal meetings before we try to augment at one or two conferences. In fact, I have this theory that a bunch of startups died because they'd rather do an internal meeting than go to Denver, Colorado to do an Airbnb hack of the DNC where the DNC is going to, Democratic National Convention 2007, they're going to run out of housing and so why not try to sign up apartments to then do uh, sofa surfing or uh, bed letting or bed uh, mattress rental by the overnight. Not even joking, Airbnb, that's how they started. They, according to Paul Graham, always lived out of their suitcases because they were always trying to get external deliverables. That's what Lecture 9 is, is helping you practice without a future manager saying to you, hey, stop doing some of this distribution stuff, you're going to make me look bad. So. What this is a precursor to is you want to get so familiar with the practice of doing distribution that later on you can be so comfortable with your distribution muscles that you'll be able to countermeasure and parlay and mitigate and dilute your future boss's effort to try to curtail your awesome sauce. And that's the subject for the next one, which is asking for permission or asking for forgiveness. And remember, these are all under the umbrella of everyone's partially entrepreneurial.